Hello, it's Matty G. No, this is not throwback to the old days of Calmston. Uh, this is our new farm on our dedicated server. There we go. Dead silence. Just me, Matty G. Uh, so yeah, this is our new dedicated server. It's on the Maypole map. Uh, this is our farmhouse, the Dell. That's the name of our farm. Uh, our driveway. Our garden. Our Land Rover. And let's have a quick look at the farm, shall we? So we'll, we'll, we'll play on the external view for you. So you can see everything. So we've got two entrances. We'll go in one and come up another. So here's entrance number one. into the farm we've got our honey production factory as always making us nice bit of money we've got some dry storages here and we use that for potatoes and sugar beets etc dry stores for some of our uh, pieces of equipment we've got chickens a thousand chickens so we're using the auto loader from the TLX attached to a uh, a bear we've got lots of sheep hence lots of uh, grass it's kind of over spilled there two of the British shed packs um, obviously you can, you've seen these before that one's the one with a workshop that's just a simple little one that's got that's our, what we're using that as our tractor storage If we come through, we've got our drive-through silo, 2 million litres plus extensions, and I'll explain why. Uh, there's the extensions. Then we've got our fermenting silo as well. Now, unfortunately, we can delete nearly everything on the map apart from the manure heap pile. Um, so what we did is we planted the silo on top of it, and a couple of extensions, so it's, it's, now, it's now hidden. I mean that's all you can see that bit there and that bit there so it looks all right <laughs> anyway on with the tour we then have a drive-through washroom just here right near the other exit and entrance to the farm then we have our seed and fertilizer pickup our English flag flying It'd be nice to get a Union Jack one as well but yeah, they haven't got that mod yet. And then we have a number of fields. We're not going to go straight into them just yet because I'm going to take you over here. Into our sheep field. And yes, the sheep are loose in the field. It's brilliant. On console as well. There they are. Having a good time. Not recent, not long mowed that bit of grass, but there you go. And then here we have... Let's jump out. Visual tour. We have our big greenhouse. With fertilizer and seeds that's our lettuce again with fertilizer and seeds we have our sunflowers that's on the open green gar open garden or open greenhouse if you will then we have a headless sheep inside a water butt <laughs> no idea how that happened but then we have potatoes in another open garden Then we've got the smallest greenhouse again seed fertilizer that is strawberries and then tomatoes in the double side small one so we're pretty much growing everything we can do <laughs> at the moment load of silage bales they were st honestly they were stacked beautifully earlier um when i was filling this one up with more seeds i kind of plowed into it <laughs> my bad can't go over the top of them, but the sheep can climb from. Wait, get out of the greenhouse! God, sheep, eh? That's pretty much the farm. Um, what are we using on the farm? Well, tractor-wise, we have a T4 second hand. Only a few, only a few hours on it. Forty-four point five. <laughs> 
Um, it's getting a uh, getting on in age. I'll have to replace that soon. Uh, we also have a McCormick. It's the X7. It's a smaller engine one. Uh, again, we got this second hand. Now it only has 15.6 hours on it, but believe it or not, we got that for 90, just over 90 grand, second hand, on literally day two on the server. Uh, it was brilliant. <laughs> And that is pretty much our workhorse. It's the biggest engine, 150 HP. We, we do we do need bigger, but um, it's managed to do everything so far. Uh, and then this is our pride and joy, the Massey Ferguson 100. 85 horsepower. Yet it can pretty much do everything on the farm, apart from planting and baling. Um, it is what we use to do lots of odd jobs. It is our mower. Um, it is our favourite. I can't see us ever getting rid of it. I really can't. I absolutely adore this little tractor. But there we go. There's our tractor setup. Uh, we also have a Big Bear 4x4 quad bike, which is over there. That's used to doing little run around jobs. Uh, we're not worrying about the little header and that. That can stay there. Let's open the next one. Then here we have the uh, Massey Ferguson Active Harvester, Activia Harvester. It's the 7347S. It's a mod one, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm a Massey Ferguson fan. This was a must have for us. And I'm not the only one on this server that's got that as well. Uh, Me mower, side mower, it works, it does the job. Baylor, fast con, fast con, got that on the uh, second hand. Um, fairly recently before that I was using mini bales and I was not happy about that <laughs> uh, picked up two of these both in the sale both dirt cheap um, and I used both of them as well unfortunately the fertilizer box was brand new it cost me the full 25 grand but you can't really argue 25 grand for a 45 meter spread so there you go um and that's pretty much it i mean we can run across here and you can have a quick look nothing exciting over here we've got the small forage wagon we've got a small tlx trailer uh, use that for sort of like seeds and fertilizer into the greenhouses i've got my auto baler or bale trailer uh, i've got two trailers um, 33,000 I think this capacity is and 23,000 used to be two Colossus but um, we, we sold one and got this one because it was in the sale just to upgrade I think and then we got this big old planter now this requires 320 I think it's 320 or 300 horsepower to use however the McCormick runs it flawlessly um, unusual but there you go it saves us constantly renting out pieces of equipment as you can see the cash flow is not great at the moment but we're not too worried about it because we have um about eight thousand liters of honey to sell which will only increase when the time's right we also have loads of eggs to sell next month hopefully that will bring in a nice chunk we've got loads of wool to sell i will show you them they're in there. They were not nice and neat until uh, someone tipped a load of grass in there. <laughs> we have almost a full trailer of lettuce in here. Almost full. That will bring in a pretty penny. And we've got the silage bales. And that's not all the silage bales because we do have some more in the field that we haven't yet collected up. So we've got all these here which is, uh, I think it's 36 bales in total. And then we've probably got another I'd say 25 to, 25 to 30 there as well. They'll all be sold as well. We're playing on normal difficulty on this one. So we should make a fair bit of money out of that. Uh, if we jump over to the map. Here we go. Zoom out. This here is my land. Uh, this block there and there. That's the farm that you've just seen. The house is about where my cursor is now. Here's a field at the bottom. Originally grass, now it's uh, wheat or barley. 
Uh, this is the sheep field. It's all grass. The grass field next to it. We own these two here, which are again wheat and between wheat and barley. This one's a big wheat field. Or barley field, sorry, I forget now. Uh, and we also own 82. Now, anyone playing on Meripole maps, just to bear in mind, 87, sorry, not 82. Field 87, I own it. I've ploughed it, I've harvested it, etc, etc. I've gone over it every inch. Cannot sell it. It says there is a placeable on there, um, which there is gone over it. There is nothing. But for some reason, we cannot sell that land. Now, initially, I bought that land because it had a crop in it that we didn't really want on this area. Uh, and I was basically going to flip it, sell it, so Mike could buy it. However, now I'm stuck with it in the middle of his area. <laughs> but there you go. And as you can see from the PDA, we have Mike's farm, which is sort of up here. Uh, he got three fields around, actually grass fields, and then he owns some fields over here. He does chop and change fields on the odd occasion. He sort of stays within this little area, though. Uh, and then we've got uh, Chris. His farm's down here. It's a small one. Um, we still have some positions available, so do message, do contact. And until next time, peace out.